Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to use subtotals for data analysis in Excel 2010. First off, let's take a look at some typical data. In this spreadsheet here I've got some figures for fruit sales, there are four different fruits, bananas, apples, oranges and pears, in different regions, I've got north, south, east and west regions, and in different stores. I've also got the unit price, numbers of units sold, and the total revenue in each line. Supposing I want to get some subtotals for this, in other words, let's say I wanted to figure out, well, how many units in total have I sold in the northern region? Or what was the total revenue for the eastern region? Or how many units of apples were sold altogether? Or what was the revenue for oranges in total? In other words, I want to subtotal my data by region or by fruit. So we're going to take a look at how to do that in both cases here. So let's start off by, by looking at our data by on a regional basis. I want to get subtotals of units sold for each of the four regions. Before I go and do subtotal, there's one very, very important thing to remember. Because we are analysing our data, we must first of all sort it in a way that we can subtotal it accordingly. So we want to sort by region, so I'm going to sort use the data ribbon to do that. So first of all, select the region column, column B in this case here. Go up to the data ribbon at the top of the Excel um, application, and in the sort and filter section, click on the A to Z button here. So I'll click on that button, accept the expand to selection option here, and click sort. And Excel has now sorted my data alphabetically by region. So all my eastern region data is here at the top, followed by the north, followed by the south, and followed by the western region. So we're well on our way to getting subtotals. Now I could at this stage insert formulas and copy and paste and so on and calculate the data, but that's prone to some manual errors. Excel allows us to use the subtotal function. The subtotal option is to the right at the, of the data ribbon at the very extreme right hand end. If I click on the subtotal option here, I get the subtotal window appearing as you see here in front of you. First off, we're sorting our data by region, so at the first section up here, I'm going to click on the drop-down menu, we can see the six items that are listed here are also the six header labels up here as well. We want to select by region, so choose region from the list here. In the use function section, we can use sum, count, or we can get an average, max and, min and so, minimum and so on. We're going to use sum because we want a subtotal of all the units sold by region. And click OK. We can see straight away that Excel has added in some extra lines and has also added in some extra view here on the left hand side. I'll come back to that in a second. The first line to be entered in here are subtotals for the eastern region and we can see that it has a subtotal of 947 units sold for 4,188 euro. If I scroll down I can see that I have a subtotal for all the northern sales. Further down again I have a subtotal for the south and finally, a subtotal for the western region down here with a grand total for units sold of 4,044 in this example. So this is giving me more detail um, about the totals on a regional basis. Just scroll up back up to the top of my data here. And I haven't written um, manually any calculation or added up columns or rows in order to get these figures. Excel has done it for me. Now, this is the most highest level of detail that I can view this particular uh, set of data by. Over here on the left-hand side, we've got some view options to view our data. We've got levels at 1, 2, and 3. Now, at the moment, we are looking at level 3, which is the most detailed option. If I click on number 2 here, it gives me a reduced view and less detail of my data that you see here. We can see just the read the totals for each region, for the units sold, and the revenue for each region. A table like this, might, for example, might be very useful if you're doing a presentation or preparing a report. If I click on the um, lowest level view, number one over here, I just see the grand total. I can go back to level two and to get my regional totals, but you can also see that I can view these one at a time should I choose using these plus and minus symbols over here. So for example, if I just want to view details on the north, northern region, um, I can expand the northern option and I can see the breakdown by fruit of all the prices and so on for the northern region and the other regions are still collapsed. If I want to collapse that and view, say for example, by the south region uh, without the detail of the others, I've got that view here. This just gives me a few options for helping us look at our data. So we can now use subtotals by region. Let's say we want to get the subtotals for the different fruits. I'm just going to click, click back here for the full detail. And this time I want to look at the fruits and get subtotals for apples, oranges, pears and bananas. 
Now, once again, remember that we must sort the data before we use subtotal. So I'm going to click on the C column this time, which is the fruits. And in the sort and filter option, I'm going to click on the button that allows us to sort our data. Um, once again, click sort to expand the selection. And we get a warning, and it's going to tell us that our existing subtotals are going to be removed. Now, we want to view by subtotal for fruit, so let's go ahead and do that and click OK. And we can see that Excel, as normal in sorting, has sorted our um, fruits by apples first, then bananas, oranges, and pears. Once again, we want to get subtotals for these, so click on the subtotal button. This time, we want to change from region to fruit in the at each change in option at the top, so change to fruit. Once again, I'm going to stick with sum, and at the end, I'm going to use units and totals, because that's what I'm, the information I'm looking for here, and click OK. We can see now that we have a breakdown in subtotals for all the apples, as you can see here, 766 units sold. All the bananas, here's a subtotal for that, 1,648 bananas of units. Uh, oranges total is here, and the pears total is down the bottom, with our grand total down at the very end. As before, I can look at my data in uh, collapse format here. I've got a table with just the totals uh, for the fruits with no details and regions or stores. And if I want to say, for example, look at details for bananas, I can get that breakdown listed here and the other views are collapsed. If I want to look at a top view, again, again, it's just a grand total view. So this shows us how to calculate uh, subtotals for all our data depending on which category that you want to look at. If you want to remove everything, finally, just click on the subtotal button again. Um, by um, Click on the subtotal button again, and you can remove all option here on the subtotal bottom left-hand side. So click on that, and it brings us back um, to our most original uh, data here without subtotals on it. So that's how you use subtotals in Excel 2010. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.